Um, remind me of your name again? Chosen. Chosen, that's right. The first time I saw it, I was like, there's no vowels. How do I pronounce this? So any, any um, what was the inspiration for that name? Uh, honestly, I mean, it was just something that kind of came to me. Uh, you know, for, uh, the, the scripture says, for many are called, but few are chosen. And, um, you know, I kind of took that seriously, especially once I started my walk with Christ. So I was like, hey, you know, I'm one of the chosen few, so I just call myself chosen. Great, I love that. And this year you were nominated for Male Rap Artist, which you won. Um, now, was that a surprise or did you expect this or? Honestly, I didn't expect to be nominated. I, I didn't even, honestly, I didn't know about the Kindred uh, Awards until Tim hit me up. And um, when he did, I was like, okay. And then I looked at some of the other nominees and I was like, I, I don't expect to win that. So I'm just going to go up there and show support and just, you know, have fun. So no, I didn't expect to win at all. So this is your first time at the Kindred Awards? Yes, it is, it is. So what did you think of the experience? Oh, it was awesome, it was awesome. I really enjoyed hearing um, all the different genres, um, all the different artists. It was really um, uplifting, man. And it, it, you know, the Holy Spirit was definitely here. You could feel his presence all up in the place. So it was, it was beautiful, I loved it. Yeah, I love the way they had the mixture of not only people performing, but there was also a couple blocks of just worship yeah. where the, the entire room was standing up and just worshiping together. That was amazing. Yeah, and, and that was that was probably, in my opinion, the best part. Just seeing so many people gathered together of different cultures, races, ethnicities, all of that, and just embracing the love of Christ uh, through worship. That was the honestly the, the highlight of everything for me. Like I, I enjoy getting the uh, the nomination and the and winning the award, but really just fellowshipping and worshiping that's a huge thing. So that that was the best part, in my opinion. So I, I know you're new to our listeners on Notes by Radio. Um, so how long have you been at, at this, and uh, what have it been your influences on your music? Um, so I've been, let me see, I've been doing Christian hip-hop for about seven years. Um, my influences, uh, you know, honestly, I mean, it's, it, was a, it was a worldly rapper, but uh, Eminem, I, I used to listen to Eminem a lot. And um, as I kind of listened to Eminem, I started to listen to different people. Um, and then when I got into Christian hip hop, I started to listen to people like Bizzle, uh, not KB the Messenger, who just came in, but there's another uh, artist named KB um, and, you know, Lecrae and a few different people. But, you know, that's kind of where I draw my inspiration from. But at the same time, I try to stay uh, unique to myself. I try not to to um, conform to too much of what the world is doing. You understand what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've heard Lecrae's name um, mentioned by a lot of people. He's, a bi- he's been a big influence yeah. um, in Christian hip-hop. Um, what, so do you, I, I don't have any information on you, but do you have an album out right now? Yeah, so uh, I have two albums out. Two albums out. Uh, one I did in 2018. Uh, it was called Make Jesus Famous. Uh, it's available on all digital uh, service providers. And um, the most recent one I did was back in 20, 2022 with a, uh, another rapper. His name is Quiet Storm, uh, also from the DMV. Um, <laughs> And we just did that album. It's called God is Greater Than. Um, it's about 10 songs on there. And um, it was really cool because it was a collaborative effort. Um, you know, I do a lot of my mixing, mastering, and everything like that. I make the beats and everything. But when we put our stuff together, it just kind of amplified everything. So, you know, that was a fun project. Like I said, God is Greater Than. Um, he told his story in one song. Um, and it was, I'm like, dude, I love the album. But I think your song is really the best song on there. And it's called Gonna Be All Right. He just released the music video for that um it's on youtube um so i would i would encourage a lot of people just to listen to that song because it's an awesome song so are, are these albums available online for people to listen to yes um you can find you can find it on all you know streaming platforms so apple music spotify you know anything anywhere that you find uh streaming uh you know music or anything you can find it. it's on youtube was it youtube music yeah it's on there too so it's under the name chosen but it's chsn so um yeah if you look at if you look for me on on YouTube, just from my YouTube channel, uh, it's CHSN Music. Um, so you'll be able to find most of my stuff on, you know, Instagram and um, YouTube, Facebook. Look up CHSN Music, and I should pop up. Um, for my music itself, like on all streaming pa- platforms, just put in CHSN, and you should see me pop up. Yeah, so cool. Um, what, what do you have? Um, what are you working on next? Where, where are we going to find you? Well, right now, so my wife, she actually sings. She's here, too. She supported me uh, t- today. Uh, me and my, my wife and my baby girl, she's turning one next month. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Um, she, she's, a, she's a singer, so we're working on her next EP. Um, 
she, she's a beautiful singer, and we have a song that's coming out soon uh, where I'm not rapping. I'm, I'm doing a little bit more singing. But, um, you know, we got that coming out um, as far as tours and stuff. Um, you know, you guys could book me from my website, www.chsnmusic.com. Um, I have a event coming up on July the 8th uh, where I'll be in D.C. with a few uh, other artists, and we're going to do, you know, some ministry there. So it's going to be fun uh, at the National Harbor in D.C., Nice. So you said you've been at this about seven years now? Yes. So how have you seen, like, how has what you do changed since uh, COVID? Have, has, you know, the, after the lockdowns, did you change the way that you make music or you go about uh, promoting yourself online or um, just the way that you go about what you do? Has that affected you? I mean, so I think for me, yes, yes. I, well, I'll say yes first. Uh, but the thing is that, you know, I'm always trying to learn uh, different ways to get uh, to promote myself more um, whether that be reading books or you know taking online classes um, recently you know I've kind of uh, gotten in, into email marketing so that's a huge thing because I realized that at the end of the day um, you can have spot of, I mean you can have Instagram followers YouTube followers and all that stuff but at the end of the day if Instagram or YouTube decides to shut your page down because they don't agree with your message right. Yes. You lose all of your audience. So now I'm pushing more of email marketing. That way, if that happens, I still have my audience there. So I'm constantly uh, innovating the way that I do um, promotions for myself and stuff yeah. like that. So, yeah, it, a lot has changed since when I first started. Yeah, that's great. So email list is a big thing. We, we try to help artists all the time, independent um, Christian musicians, to try to navigate the, the music industry. And it's like, well, what do you do? Because there's so many competing voices out there and like everybody there's so much information and people get lost and like what what you know i don't want to spin my wheels or like spend all my energy on something that like you said it's going to fall through so we like to ask people like what what have you found that's been successful so that's really cool to, you're saying an email list is is key or it's important yeah, yeah email i mean the, the biggest thing honestly and this is something that god is just reiterating to me uh in this season of my life is consistency right. you know you can have everything else going on you can have the best song and you can have the best you know for you guys like radio uh yeah. program or anything but at the end of the day if you're not consistent with it then you can't expect to gain traction you know what i'm saying so that's what god has been you know I guess drilling into me is like stay consistent, stay consistent, stay consistent. Because yeah. that's when you know you'll get the larger email uh, list, and that's when you'll get more you know followers. But at the end of the day, it's not even about me. It's always about Christ. Like that's what I tell everybody. Uh, before, before when I get on stage, I'm like, hey, look, I'm not. It's not about chosen. I'm only here to make Jesus famous. So that's what I'm all about. So yeah, I love that you said consistency because I think that's the third time we've heard that actually today, and we talk about that all the time on our podcasts. Um, you know, we said you can do all the work and you like create a, you know, a website. Mm -hmm. And then if you just let it go, like, you know, people are like, this, this person hasn't been, hasn't been active in six months. And then probably the other problem is with the algorithms on social media, if you're not posting all the time, you get lost in the feed. Like you will actually drop down and other people will replace you. So it, it is a tricky thing. And, um, so it's good to hear from people, you know, that are out there doing this and being successful. Like, mm -hmm. It's not just Paul and I on the radio talking about that. Like, be consistent, guys, no matter what you're doing. If it's an email list, if it's, you know, posting on Instagram or Facebook or Snapchat or TikTok or whatever you're doing, you got to keep at it. Um, do you have any other advice for up and coming artists, people that want to do kind of what you're doing and saying, like, how do you know, how do I get going? How do I get started? Like maybe they have they feel God like putting it on their hearts that I, they have a voice or God's putting a message and like, what would you say to encourage them? I would say, um, whatever you feel like God is telling you to do, just do it. Um, you may not understand. You may not even feel like you're making a huge impact. I know that as independent artists, when you kind of, and it's, it's, it's funny because we all get into the comparison trap. It's like, oh, I see what, what my favorite people are doing. And then it's just like, you know, I'm not doing that. So am I really making a difference? But even if you show up, if you're, I'm just speaking from an artist standpoint, even if you show up and you're, if you're ministering in front of one person, that makes a difference. I've, I've had the pleasure of ministering in front of 10 people and I've had the pleasure of ministering in at least 500 people. And the, the craziest thing is the people who I don't feel like are listening it's crazy how after you get done somebody one one random person will just say man i really enjoyed that song and it really ministered to me and you never know so number one just 
push to do it, just do it anyway. And then also um, just trust God in the process mm-hmm. um, and be unique, be unique. God has made each and every one of us different. Um, you may be doing something that somebody else is doing, but there's only one you. So mm-hmm. keep doing what you're doing and try not to get caught up in that comparison trap because that's when the enemy really plays on our minds. So be you, stay consistent and trust God. That's the best thing I could tell you. Wow, I love that. And I think that's a great uh, note to end on. Uh, so we've been talking to Chosen here at the 8th Annual Kindred Awards. Thank you so much, and congratulations on your win. Thank you so much, yeah. appreciate it. Yes, I hope to see and hear more from you in the future. Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah. Thank you.